It is her right to have a closed session. Absolutely. I just think you have to have legal counsel involved. You could probably have it on both. And I want to clarify, he didn't waive his a whistleblower rights. He feels his whistle rights we shouldn't be discussing no, no. this. Which whistleblower rights were violated. He waved the whistleblower flag, is what I meant to say, oh, and I thought I, I said, it. yeah, not, oh, not, not, not wave, not wave that, rights. Okay. I wasn't debating we, we, whether it we, goes we, in can't, the we, can't, we can't discuss any more about that. The person the reference in there has asked for a closed session, as is her right by law. We can either go into closed session right now, or we can choose to postpone this item to a future date. Or I'd like to, to go into activity. closed session. I mentioned the closed session prior to... Um, the last meeting, uh, or, or right after this, I mentioned an email to the entire board that I'm that a, a closed session is being requested. Prior to the article in the newspaper, I requested a closed session. Do you have a motion? A motion to go into closed session. Is there a second? Really? Hearing none. Oh. Are there? We cannot have a discussion about this here. Is there any other motion on this? Wait a minute. You had a motion with no support. There was no support. It's dead. Motion dead. Okay. Now the, motion, the motion is dead. There was no support. My motion is to postpone these two um, HR items. Two? Until we address it with legal counsel. I'll support that. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What, what two? What two? Oh. To do them together, you're what thinking about two? the anonymous the letter. Anonymous letter has a closed session as well. And you've got the other one. We've already They're both HR issues. So we already. If you did want that. to do them separately, fine. We already we already did the anonymous letter. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Postpone it until oh, okay. So till when we can postpone get it. Postpone it till what was the? Until we have legal counsel. Until we have legal counsel. Okay. okay. Uh, and I'll support that. I think that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. We can have discussion of that in as much as it doesn't talk to the issues at hand. Hearing none, can I have a roll call pass? I, I second it. Calls? Yes. Gamka? Yes. Winchester? Yes. Stalford? Yes. Sharpsnager? Yes. Uh, next we have, oh, I'm not the chair, sorry. <laughs> Habit. <laughs> well, you may you may be able to help me here. So, item E, um, grant. We, we just wrote it. We just wrote it. Oh, you never heard my name. You, you said yes. Okay. You were first. You were oh, first. You said yes. Okay. It was a, I it. It was a I five nil it. vote. Okay. I, it was Paulus Gamka. I was into what was going on next. So I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, item E. Did it so automatically? I didn't realize I did it. It's okay, and she's taking over the meeting over there, so. <laughs> um, item E, granting NACFA Board of Directors access to the incident notification system. Rose Township Supervisor, I think you added this to the agenda. I did. Uh, for five years, um, I was um, receiving these notifications that will inform you of um, Trees down, structure fires, trees across the road, um, medical um, accidents, structure fires. Did I say that already? Um, I was I was taken off it without any um, notice. I inquired why I was taken off, and um, well, you have a letter from Matt Lyle in there summarizing. I don't really believe that everything that is in there is factual especially my conversations with other people that he inquired about. But I guess the bottom line is um, I will like a mo make a motion to grant NACFA Board of Directors and Township Supervisors um, related to NACFA to have access to the instant notification system. Clintus, that's my motion. Is there is there support for her motion? I support it. Sounds sounds reasonable to me. So the motion is to grant access to the NACFA board members and to the two individual 
Rose Township Super uh, Rose Township and Holly Township Supervisors. If they weren't on this board. If they're, if they're not on the board. Mm -hmm. um, access to the, the notification system. Yes. Clements. And I did shop around a little bit, and um, a lot of um, supervisors get it. Um, the the um, Holly Village manager gets it. He gets everything, including training um, alerts. And I would like access to all alerts for whoever wants to be put on, and it would be up to the individuals on the board if they want that. I think it's a good way to see what's happening in the township. There's a lot of things that I can use tree down, wires down, things. I, I communicate with DTE. Um, I communicate with the road commission. If you're cleaning up trees that are crossing the road and you're throwing them off to the side, I can give the road commission a heads up. Like, well, they had multiple trees down, and these are where they're located, and I do things like that. Could you guys, you know, make sure that's cleaned up properly? Because when fire comes, they pretty much, you know, just get it off the road. Um, I think it helps me to better represent my um, the township and to see what's happening in our um, community as well as, I mean, there's a lot of money that goes into what we, you know, for NACPA. And um, it's good, actually. I use it for Michigan State Police. Sometimes I see on there that trooper not available, and I will inquire why wasn't a trooper available. Um, and a lot of times that's just like, well, that wasn't true, uh, and things like that. So I'm also, when people ask me if I think the state police are doing well here, because we're not contracting out somebody, I can say, yes, I think they are. And so I use it for those types of things. And I had it for five years, and I, like what I said, without any indication of why I was removed, I had to um, ask why. I wasn't told why. I'd like to be reinstated. And since I had to bring it to the uh, board, I figured, well, maybe some of you would like to be have access to monitoring what's going on since we are the fire authority. Board of Directors. So, so before we continue with the, with the conversation, I need to make sure that we have, as a board, the authority to put people on that yes, system. I... So is, is, is there an answer? Is there an answer that bef before we discuss any further and may, vote on yes, something that we can't do? May I have do, the board to discuss please. the situation? Please. Okay. So Ms. Jab Snyder is correct. She was on our uh, incident notification system, as were several other um, non-employee personnel um, there were yes Could, just just for this segment can you just verify for me whether we have the authority to do something with it before we you go into not, the history and I, that's why I'm we do not okay to go discuss this okay um, this is a notification system that comes through on the cell phone um, again we did have several people in the past that were not employees on the system um, Diane was included. We had some what we consider support staff that come out and give food to us and stuff like that when we have a large scale scene. Uh, we had some MSP troopers on there as well. Um, so we had a whole array of, of people. However, times have changed. Uh, software has changed. Um, the information that comes across on those what we call a CAD, a D card, is very sensitive information and contains, uh, I won't show you this up close, but this particular, this is two pages long. It contains more, a lot more details than they used to. It's got names, contact phone numbers. A lot of them have premise alerts on them, which are uh, premise alerts are anything that uh, helps us with the location of the call. Um, it could be a security gate code where the key is hidden at. Um, they give, um, for instance, this one here, which was a um, medical. Uh, that gives the person's name. It gives what they're, that they're sick and dehydrated, right shoulder, back pain. Um, it gives how old they are. It gives um, all kinds of, you know, the medication that was prescribed in the last 12 hours, um, the history, for instance, uh, angina and heart, heart pain. Because of the sensitive information that is now 
coming through on these things, we cannot give this information or allow people other than our employees to have this information. This was all explained to Ms. Scheib Snyder when she called Chief Weil last week and mentioned that she was not receiving any more of the text messages anymore. And he explained in great detail. Because you were there listening? Oh, because it's recorded. Oh, of course. All phone calls are recorded oh. in our station. I, I, I still don't hear it, Chief. I, I, you make some good points about, about private information. But, there, there's Privacy but, Act information, there's HIPAA violations, there's, there's again... But, but there's, I still don't hear why, why you said no, that the board is not allowed to decide to disseminate that information. Because the board can't give permission to go against uh, federal privacy acts. There's a federal privacy act that says that the NACLA board of directors can't have access to employee information? It's you're not, is that, is that, is that, not is that employee what information. Uh, of, of HIPAA information. So, 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 you can't so, have, you so, got, you can't have HIPAA I'm, I'm very direct question. Is medical there, is there health care information about you said the there's resident a federal, that calls. There's a federal law that says that the board of NACFA can't have access to any of that information. That's, that that's is correct. As, our employ as an employer, you should not have that. That's private. Right. They're hands off employers. Right, so the, so the issues that we deal we with, are licensed the, 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 the HR d issues that we deal with as a board wouldn't be allowed either if that were true. The HR what? So investigations as to issues within the department wouldn't be allowed either if the board wasn't given access to that type of information. That's totally different. That's totally a separate animal. It's the same animal. It's it, not. It's a question of, of access to information. I'm trying to understand. Access information for employees that are under the fire authority? This is, this is the citizens in the townships that live here. So could, I have that's a coming could, through. Could we keep the comments from the, uh, from the audience to a minimum, please? It's information regarding their, their health, their personal information, their um, security codes to their homes. No, that is not anything that can be disseminated out other than to the employees of the fire authority that are responding to this call in which the data was created for that use and them. And there's other ways that she can get that information. You can get a police scanner. I have an email, uh, email okay, from so Jim Manning, who is the chief of Columbus, and he, he and I'm underlining it, programming the numbers into the system to receive the incident. Notification is at the discretion of the agency. We are the agency. That's why I made the motion. He, I talked to several supervisors who received this. Nobody has been taken off of this. Um, like I said, Jerry Walker, he gets absolutely everything from Ms. the Chef village. Snyder, who, who is that from? Jim Manning, Clemens Chief. He's the Chief of Clemens. Clemens Law is Enforcement a... and Public Safety Technology. I had a conversation with him. I had to, uh, he, he said it was up to the agency. We are the agency. The, 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 the example the Chief gave you was very rare. He actually said they try to not put a lot of that type of information on there, if possible. Um, but yes, the, the agency is the one who determines, and we are the agency. No. We are the agency. Exactly. We it's are the agency. The, the, no, the information, the runs, the data for the runs, the information, it's for the department personnel to do their jobs with. He's not so, the not the fire board. He, we we are we are the agency though. We are he said NACFA. Are we not NACFA board of directors? Right, but you're not the the operational entity. We're the employer. Then why didn't why does Commerce Township get everything and, and Jerry they Walker get be. everything? They should be and auditing. Everybody, they every should be team, auditing just like we did. Every supervisor I spoke to, which there was probably about eight of them, plus I talked to several chiefs about it. And this this man, the head of it, says it's up to the agency. So it it definitely sounds like a difference of opinion as to whether we're allowed to do this or not. Is is there any? Was your was your motion seconded? Yes, I seconded. You seconded. Is is I'm going to move forward with the motion, and we can deal with with what that means afterwards. Is there any further discussion? Well, I yeah, think that. Yeah, I go ahead. Yeah. I'd go like ahead, to read Karen. This. Oh. No, go ahead. Okay, George. Well, this is the letter that Diane passed down. Mm -hmm. The opening paragraph says, um, "Hello, Supervisor Schneider. 
Following up on our phone conversation regarding access to NACPA's incident notification system, Clemis did request all agencies to conduct an audit of the registered numbers that are programmed to receive instant... Pre-COVID, he told me. Pre-COVID. Can, can we let George finish? Sure. It's dated October 8th of 2021. Right, but he told me pre-COVID. He left that part out. Is there more you want to read? Um, I'm just going to finish reading. Clemens did request all agencies to conduct an audit of the registered numbers that are programmed to receive incident notification for fire incidents. This was done because several agencies had a very high number of contacts programmed into the system when compared to their current roster. When compared to their current roster. Employee mm -hmm. roster. We mm -hmm. believe that some numbers may have been inadvertently left in the system after personnel had left the agency. Mm -hmm. Our intent was to purge the system of numbers of personnel who are no longer connected to the agency. Mm -hmm. Again, he continues to cite personnel. You are not personnel. This is information that goes Chief, way Chief, beyond. Could you, could you wait? I want to make sure George is done with this point. Clemens, Clemens does not govern who the agency provides the information to as the information belongs to the agency. We do consistently remind agencies that they are responsible for the information and that there could be personnel and or HIPAA information included in the data on the incident notification. Again, it is the responsibility of the agency to ensure they are following HIPAA regulations. And I don't want any one of you to know my private medical information, and I have been... I have been transported by NACFA. She wants to. I don't. There's other. There's other ways, Diane, for you to have that exact information that that don't cause possible liability issues. Let me ask this because you brought up a, a comment. And, and Can me, me before we get back to you, Chief, you had a, a comment. I just think this is absurd. It's even being argued. I mean, the information is is not to be outside of the department personnel, period. It doesn't say personnel. It says it's up Ms. to the Ms. Schneider, please let everyone finish their point. And you know better, Diane. The, the, I, the fact that it was explained to her by Chief Weil on a phone call, that was the and then she went and called the supervisor of dispatch, and then she called the chief of Clemmis, and continue to argue the point. I didn't argue. I asked for information. Um, citing she's a supervisor and she's a firefighter and EMT. I didn't say that either. You did. No. Let's set the record straight. Because let's let's I, let's let's stop I, the discussion I'm going right to here. My if, if, we, if we if if we can't I'm going have to a civil conversation, conversation, then we're going to have to you change continue, our approach to this. Continue to leverage yourself as a firefighter and an EMT, and let's get it straight. You were a firefighter for a short period of time, 15 years ago. Chief, you're your out of order. Your EMS Chief, license expired Chief, in 2012. You're out, of, you're out of order. So the stop leveraging subject yourself matter, the as subject, a firefighter the subject and EMT. matter at hand is a motion to add the board My members and the two wrote, uh, the two township attorney uh, uh, supervisors to the Clement system. We, Please restrict your we comments. Gave her, we to gave her that. a full conversation, a detailed explanation a reasonable explanation of why we did what we did, that we were going through the audit and cleaning up the system, and because of the information and the sensitivity of some of it, the HIPAA violations, that we were taking all non-essential personnel, or non-essential that weren't personnel, off of the list. That wasn't good enough. And it's circumvented into this. By the way, okay. my state certificate. Do you have any further My comment? state certificate as a firefighter still stands. And what I said to uh, Mr. Manning was, um, I'm aware of the um, HIP HIPAA because I am have been trained as a firefighter and EMT. I did not say I was still any of those things. I just wanted him to know. Can we can we yeah. stick to the subject at hand here? Yeah, since I can't, I'm not allowed to call people. Is that what we're talking about still? We're talking about a motion on the floor. Okay, and I did, to add, and I did not talk to several chiefs from different departments and several supervisors from Oakland County Townships. Nobody has been removed. 
Is there any further discussion about this motion? I just want to clarify when she says she talked to other people, the date of that letter is October 8th. Mm -hmm. That's recent. And that's probably why they have not done it. Well, just because they're doing it doesn't mean it's right. I'm just, I, I don't understand the constant need to try to micromanage this department. But I don't understand. As a supervisor, I don't need that information. I wanted to address, she mentioned, I need to know when trees are down. People call me, the bottom line is when trees are down. Don't you communicate with the road commission? If there's anything that is... And don't you guys take the If there's anything that a township that. official level that is needed regarding an incident, they, they, they know about it. Otherwise, let us do our job. I know they have chainsaws on the truck. I know they remove trees all the time. Yeah, they do. But they threw them off to the side of the road. That was my comment. There has been several times where I give the road commission a list of where the trees have been cut so they can go clean up the right of way. I, I deal with well, the same chief can give you those There are other areas. alternatives. Yeah. They can, can get a scanner. Well, Rose, Rose Township Treasurer, do you have any comments on well, this? I, I think that there's, well, I'm hearing two conflicting opinions here. I'd like to get a, amend the uh, motion to, um, you know, add the supervisors pending getting some definitive information because just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean it's right. And I think we need some clarification on whether you know, what some of these things are coming up. So, you know, I would amend my motion to say um, pending some clarification from an authority, from somebody that, I, I mean, I don't care what other townships do because they may or may not be doing it right. And uh, the letter so, was so there's, from there's the a, chief. So there's an amendment, there's an amendment on the floor <laughs> to modify the motion to make it pending an approval from a, a higher, a higher, a higher yeah. authority. Which would be who? The, the chief of uh, the chief from is, is, Manning. Is, is there the is, no, is there, isn't enough? Is, so, is so there, is, is so there a second is, for that? Why just? Is there a second? We have an amendment on the floor to the motion. Could we please? I know we don't follow Robert's rules of order, but that's all we have. <laughs> so, is there a second for that? Hearing none. The main motion is still standing to add the knock the board and the two township supervisors to the Clemens system. Is there further discussion on that? If requested. Was that in the original motion? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. Okay, I mean, it's up to their, you know, if they want it or not. Is there any other no. discussion? I think we're putting ourselves in a liable situation and I don't think it's appropriate. She has other ways to get the, what she needs, the information she needs, and we're putting ourselves in a, a bad situation. We're hands off employers, we're not fire department um, and emergency service personnel. Everybody I mentioned this to would say to me, You're the township supervisor. It doesn't like, matter. It just who blew you their are. mind that I had to even bring this to the board. That's the whole problem, is well, that mentality. We're all peers, That's right. the whole problem, is your mentality. The clerks, every I didn't board say member it. Other people is did. a peer. Nobody is over anybody. Your job's not more important than anybody that's here on this board, or on your board, or on the Holly Township board. As a township supervisor, I don't see any need for it. The concerns that, that she mentioned are dealt with in our township. I travel the township roads. I communicate with the same supervisor she does. Is there any other comments or discussion on the motion? Well, yeah, and I do no. have to say that the, the fire department, I'm sure under policies and procedures, there's things that they are required um, procedures to keep this information private. We are not under those same procedures. So it doesn't matter who the person is or what their position is, if they're not under the department, they have no business having that information. There's nothing that, that guides them from not telling somebody else about their resident or, you know, anybody for that matter that is gets served by NACFA. I don't even, I've never even made it public that I even received that. that. People don't know I even receive that because I don't want people asking me things. Um, it, it's it's confidential as far as I'm concerned, and I'm aware of that. That's why I stated to Mr. Manning, I'm aware of HIPAA. 
because so of that tra mean my trip past training. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing, um, not, there's no authority or nothing saying that you are required to keep it to yourself. You don't have to keep it to yourself. But what about the firefighters and EMTs that respond? I guess you could say the same thing about them as well. But they're doing their job. When they sign paperwork to come on this department, there are privacy policies that they are sign. freed to, and there's the liability of them losing their license. There's also that they are covered under our liability policy for things that may come to legal terms in that situation. And so, so is the board. No. Absolutely, because when I came onto this board, you specifically told me that I was. Not, but not, not for under this. for those conditions, for, because for, you shouldn't for be board, receiving the board, information in the first board place. For board liability, you told me that we were covered. So you, it, yes, there is, there is board liability, but not in that, not in that way. It errors and omissions. Did it's, I get my email standard, back? It's standard coverage. Yeah, but if you didn't have the right to have the information to begin with, then you may not be covered. And that's something that you should look into before you make some kind of Hence decision the reason like I this. started the discussion with do we have the authority to do this? Well, that's according exactly to, where I went. According to Manny, it's a, and he's the um, chief of Clemens, he says it's up to the agency. Okay, you asked that question. Diane had her opinion. He told you no. We're just going over the same stuff over and over. I'll call for the vote. <laughs> If there's no further discussion, we will go to the vote Call without having... the vote ends the discussion. If we vote to end the, the discussion, it would be much easier if we just ended the discussion. If you want to vote on your motion to, to call the I vote, we can do that too. So... No, just keep hashing it over for another 20 minutes. Is there any further discussion? No. Hearing none, can I have a roll call? Yes. 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 Manchester? No. Stalker? Yes. Call? No. The motion passes. I make a motion we take a five minute recess. We can um, this for empowerment. Two hours. Yes, let's do that. So, my board just told me that I have to put any requested board members onto the notification system. That's what we just did. Okay. Yeah. I'm requesting that now. You guys are ridiculous. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's Miss Walls. I, I thought I said even it. though we are recessed for a few minutes, would you please annotate the chief's comments about a board decision? Please, please record the chief's comments that were just given to us about a board decision. How ridiculous we are. Well, I'll say the same did, thing. Did you hear them? It'll be on the recording. Yep. I, I, I asked to have those included in there.
Yeah. My email. Okay. Yeah, the guy I believe next on the agenda is the current oh, yeah. resolution for the one I think. I gotta find that paper. It was handed out at the start of the meeting of sitting in those last. Can you see? Fire. What's G? Um, Rest of the audit results. Oh, results. Results of the audit. Results of the audit. Okay, thank you. It's not. <laughs> Looks like it is. Yeah, it does. Because all our restrooms were closed to the public during COVID. Oh. And so nobody goes potty? Go the go public. Outside. The public, yeah. We were in their own building. <laughs> the they public. The building. And they can't go to the bathroom. Empl it doesn't say employees, it says public. The public owns this building. That's what my well, we were allowing people in here either unless uh, they were coming by an appointment. So that was part of our policy that we created. Same with only one person can go in the kitchen. 
going to request that he use one tree instead of them all. I remember one time a friend of mine told his son to go off into the water at the beach. And he just could just go down in the water. He goes ankle deep, whips his trunks down, just there's like, well, that's not exactly what, what we meant. Go all the way in the water. <laughs> but he's like six or something, you know, he doesn't oh, mind. I know. <laughs> just so you know, we'll probably still be in the car. meeting at 510. Um, we're moving on to item F, the grant resolution 2102 that the chief handed out prior to the start of the meeting. Motion to approve. Support. Can we get some details, Chief? It says if awarded these funds will be used, will be exclusively for the project. These funds used will, that doesn't make any sense. If awarded, these funds used will be exclusively for the project outline of the grant application. I understand the intent. What was the grant application it's for two use pieces of funds? Of, two pieces of workout equipment, one for each one of the stations at $2,500 a piece. Okay. Any further discussion about this? I couldn't hear what he said. He said for two pieces of workout equipment worth $2,500 a piece. One for each station. One for each station. What kind of workout equipment? Uh, it's a multi-station machine. So more, f not necessarily agility, more for, um, is it like not free, uh, weights, th weights then, or? Yes. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, um, Pat, we've got to make sure we capture on here who, who did the motion and who was supported by it. It's a requirement of the form here. Collison and Winchester. Okay, good. Um, please do a roll call. Collis? Yes. Winchester? Yes. Stalberg? Yes. Danica? Yes. Shadsnyder? Yes. Okay. Uh, the last item we have on the uh, agenda is the results of the annual audit. I put this item on the agenda because our bylaws require us to review the results of the audit at the October board meeting. And we either need to have a motion to move it into the future or ignore that requirement or say what? We either have, there's a requirement in the bylaws that the board review the audit at its October meeting in the current bylaws. It was one of the other, the old, uh, draft that we didn't get a chance to change. Because it's not always possible. Right. We should have never put that in there to begin with. Okay, but, he, but, but so he's but, calling for a motion to postpone. We, we, we have to do something. The, the bylaws say we have to do this. Right, so. I would make a motion to postpone the, um, the results of the annual audit um, for the board until that, until it is um, complete and ready to come to the board. Until they're available. Is there support for that? I'll support it. Okay. Can can would you would you consider setting a date like 
no, the November meeting? You can't set a date with the auditor. I, it, trust me. It no, trust, no. It doesn't exist? <laughs> we it, should. We it should, should have happen, it. but you can't, then we're back at it. We so should I, have it by then. Yeah. Is, he, is he scheduled? No. We should. I just talked with them Monday, and they're finishing up things. It should be ready for draft form within the next couple of weeks, and then they will make an appointment in our November meeting to come out to go over it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, it's been moved and seconded to move this until the results are available into the future. Um, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, can I have a roll call? Winchester? Yes. Ganga? Yes. Chad Snyder? Yes. Collis? Yes. Stafford? Yes. That, that re represents our last item on our modified agenda. Um, on our, I'm sorry, thank you. Amended agenda. Um, having no other new business, is there any public comment? And I would remind you that public comment um, is, is open, and we ask you to try to limit your comments to, to three minutes. comment? I have public comment, please. Uh, Jeremy Lentz, Rose Township resident. Um, as I've stated before to this board uh, about a year ago, I went back in the board meeting minutes 12 years and found that out of all of those years prior to a couple years ago, all of the votes that this board had on agenda items were unanimous, except for two. Whether they had a positive impact or a negative impact, it was always a unanimous vote between all of the five board members, except for two in a 12-year span. And since then, I've lost count. I, I, I've lost count. There's got to be more than 30 in the last two years. Um, We never had a bunch of closed sessions that we had to schedule. We never had a bunch of special meetings that we had to schedule. We didn't have township boards voting on agenda items before they came to the NACFA board for discussion. We didn't have board members secretly calling current and past employees questioning leadership abilities of the management. We didn't have board members interfering with employment policies and procedures. We didn't have rude, unprofessional, condescending, back and forth arguing within the board members. I've never received failing scores in my annual performance review until last year when the two Rose Township uh, members gave me failing scores. We never had a situation where a budget approval was in jeopardy. We didn't have anonymous letters circulating. We didn't owe $12,000 in legal fees because every year I've always kept a budget of $500 and many of those years we never touched it. We didn't have employees organizing under unions. We didn't have attorneys resigning. We didn't have the low employee morale within the entire department that we have today because of these issues I've just mentioned. 
I've run this department for 17 years without having any of the problems that I just talked about. In fact, none of these issues has ever plagued this authority until two and a half years ago when a new citizen at large seat changed and that negative transformation started to happen when this new three member majority rule suddenly formed and began micromanaging this fire department. There are many things that are broken and that need to be fixed and changed and done differently, but it's within this board and not the department. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned at 520. You want your binder? You want your binder? Okay, I'll bring it up to you.